Hi friends, uh, in this video uh, we are going to discuss another set of MCQs. Uh, they, are, they are a set of 10 MCQs and we are going to solve them here in this video. So stay with me. Thank you. So our first MCQ in this video is uh, depth wise stages of anesthesia induction in chronological order will be uh, in this question we are asked uh, about the stages in which the anesthesia is induced and uh, certain effects are observed in the patient so these five options are there analgesia first analgesia occurs then excitement occurs then surgical anesthesia occurs and finally medullary paralysis and uh, also the B option is first analgesia then surgical anesthesia then excitement and medullary paralysis but if you have studied it uh, already you will know that uh, the first option is the correct option this actually represent uh, the correct order in which the anesthesia uh, effects are observed in our body so the option a is the correct option now the second mcqs the following drug uh, or drugs have anti-androgenic side effect. It means uh, if you consume these drugs, uh, you, your androgen production will be uh, affected. Your, your libido or sex drive may be decreased. So below are given some options um, of drugs which can have anti-androgenic side effect. So options are ketoconazole, carbinoxolone, cimetidine, spironolactone and E is all of the above. So among these uh, there is uh, are, are drugs that have anti-androgenic side effect. So the correct option in this is uh, all of the above because all of the above drugs uh, have this effect. So mm, option number Sorry, question number third of this video is common adverse effects of long term corticosteroid therapy. What are uh, the adverse effects that will be observed uh, if we are using corticosteroids for a long term? Uh, so, these options are there hypertension, that is high blood pressure, peripheral edema, peptic ulcer, B option is glaucoma, hirsutism, and low RB low WBCs then the third option is euphoria depression and increased appetite the D option is osteoporosis retarded growth and hypokalemia or all of the above so the adverse effects of long term corticosteroid use are actually all of the above this is the correct option and uh, all these adverse effects are there if we are using um, corticosteroids for long term that's why uh, this therapy is actually very cautiously prescribed due to their uh, wide range of side effects so option e is the correct answer now the 14th mcq is uh, adverse effect of heparin and heparin related products is or hemorrhage it is bleeding, hypersensitivity, thrombocytopenia, osteoporosis or all of the above. So what are the adverse effects of heparin and heparin like products? So, in this MCQs we are asked about the adverse effects of uh, heparins. So the correct option is option E. All of these are the adverse effects. Uh, of heparin um, like products and heparin so option E is the correct answer now moving on to the fifth MCQ of this video heparin and low molecular weight heparins or LMWH are contraindicated in patients who have uh, hypersensitivity to heparin uh, hemophilia alcohol addiction had recent surgery of brain I or spinal cord and uh, E option is all of the above so 
what are the conditions in which a heparin and the low molecular weight heparins are contraindicated uh, these are actually hypersensitivity if if you are hypersensitive uh, to heparin then you are not supposed to use this uh, then there is hemophilia in this condition also uh, heparins are not advised to be used because um, mm, heparin can cause uh, uh, bleeding and if you have this disease hemophilia in which uh, if you get a little bit scratched uh, you can have uh, longer bleeding times yes and uh, and it is very difficult for the blood to clot in this hemophilia so in hemophilia also heparin and low molecular weight heparins are not uh, recommended also in alcohol addiction they are not re recommended and uh, if you have recent surgery of brain or eye or spinal cord also in this case uh, they are not recommended so the correct option is all of the above now moving on to the sixth mcq Mm, low molecular weight heparins exert their pharmacological effect by selectively inhibiting a clotting factor which is factor 2a, factor 7a, factor 10a, factor 9a or none of the above. So actually uh, low, molecular weight, low molecular weight heparins they exert their pharmacological action by inhibiting a certain clotting factor. In this case, the correct option is C, factor 10A. So, low molecular weight heparins inhibit factor 10A to exert their pharmacological effect. Now, the, the next MCQ, uh, Paget's disease affects uh, teeth, bones, kidneys, lungs, parotid gland. Now, we know that uh, Paget's disease affects bones. So, the correct option is B. Now, the eighth MCQ of this video, uh, which of the following hemostatic drug is derived from fish, sperm or testes? Protamine sulfate, daru cesumab, amino caproic acid, tranexamic acid and phytonadione. So, the correct option in this is A, protamine sulfate, because protamine sulfate is derived from fish sperm or testes so now you know uh, which hem hemostatic drug is derived from fish sperm or testes that is protamine sulfate it is actually uh, the antidote for heparin if you have heparin toxicity then uh, to counter that protamine sulfate can be administered now moving on to the next mcq most therapeutic strategies for gout involve lowering of uric acid level below the saturation point thus preventing the deposition of urate crystals that saturating that saturation point is 6 mg per deciliter 10 mg per deciliter 14 mg per deciliter or 18 mg per deciliter in this uh, mcq we are actually asked about uh, that uh, to manage gout you have to lower the uric acid level uh, below a certain point. Uh, when the uric acid is lowered be below a certain point, then the deposition of urate crystals will not be uh, happening and thus uh, we will be improving the status of the patient. So, that saturation point, uh, that point uh, below which uh, the deposition of urate crystals become uh, not so easy, that is 6 mg per deciliter meaning that we have to reduce uh, uh, the uric acid level of a patient uh, uh, to less than 6 mg per deciliter then he is on the safe side so the correct option is a now moving on to the last mcq of this video microbial resistance to antibiotics occurs because of the following uh, in this mcq we are being asked uh, about uh, the reasons why why uh, microbes develop resistance to our antibiotics so the options are given production of beta lactamases beta lactamases are actually enzymes uh, which will 
uh, which will cleave or, or break down our our antibiotic. Uh, so bacteria will produce these enzymes against our antibiotic which will render them resistant to our drugs. Mm, the second option decreased permeability to the drug uh, meaning that uh, uh, the bacteria they actually develop a certain protection mechanism by which uh, mm, our drugs will not be able uh, to enter their cells. So, so they are actually guarding themselves this way also. So, the B option is decreased permeability to the drug. Active removal of drug through efflux pump is the C option. Um, this is also a resistance mechanism by which microbes actually get rid of our drugs. The drugs actually enter their cells, but they have efflux pump which actually actively removes the drug from from their cell and so our drugs are rendered ineffective so and the d option is altered penicillin binding protein penicillin binding proteins are actually proteins uh, to which our antibiotics will bind and exert their action so what bacteria do or microbes do they uh, in them that penicillin binding protein is actually altered and when that is altered then our antibiotic will not be able to bind with them and thus exert their action effectively. So resistance develops this way also and the last option is all of the above. So actually microbes develop resistance to antibiotics through all of these mechanisms. So the correct option is E. So friends, these were uh, the set of 10 MCQs uh, along with answers. Hope uh, you have liked this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to get notified about the upcoming videos like these. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you for watching.